Real caustic in Blender is not possible and we need to fake it. You probably have heard this sentence many times and that is why you are here watching this video. Fortunately, it's not true anymore. We can render physically correct caustic inside Blender easily. And this is exactly what I'm gonna to show you in the following tutorial. To make it a little bit more spectacular, I'm gonna recreate this scene. So let's start with the theory to understand what caustic generally is. It is always good to know what you are actually trying to achieve because it makes errors a little bit easier to track. If you don't understand what you are doing, you can never be sure where exactly problem is and it is why you are spending so long time just randomly tweaking your setups. So caustic is the effect that happens when the light rays hit the surface of the object and it has nothing to do with its volume, as some people might say it. Of course, there are some conditions for caustic to appear. If not, we would observe the caustic every time and everywhere and as we know, it doesn't happen at all. First condition is the shape of the surface. If the surface is perfectly plain, caustic will not happen. What we observe from the real life, caustic appear when we have curved irregularities, like for an example, water surface. We don't see this effect on the object with huge light absorption potential. So don't be surprised if on a rough black rubber, you won't see any of these light must be reflected or refracted. As we are talking about refraction, it is worth to mention Snell's law. To understand this in practice, lower index of refraction value to 1 and you will see that all caustic is gone. <laughs> this is because the object in Blender is by default in the air and IOR for the air is of course 1. So, another condition, the object must have different IOR than medium around. The last but not least condition is the light source. This will explain you why when you are adding cloudy HDRI sky, nothing happens on your glass. Generally speaking, you need to have small and sharp light source that is lighting your object from right angle. So you won't get nice caustic effect on the lake when using sunset or sunrise HDR eyes. The sun must be as high as it is possible. I think there is a word called perpendicular <laughs> to describe this, but I'm not gonna say it because it's just terrifyingly perpendicular. Okay, and this is how caustic works. I think it's nothing to explain. This graphic is talking for itself. Just look at this for a moment. The focusing point of the rays depends on the surface curvature. So if surface is more round, the sharpest point will be closer to the surface, right? So let's imagine that it represents the ocean. Okay, make more sense now? The wavier the surface will be, caustic effect will appear on a shallower depth. And now the most important question, why it doesn't work in cycles? And the answer is, it works. <laughs> the problem is that cycles is path tracing engine. And for this type of renderers, it take ages to calculate caustic. I mean, really ages. It is just how path tracer works. It's not only about cycles. So I'm gonna keep this possibly short and simple. Cycles projects the ray from the camera and it calculates samples when ray is hitting the object. The effect of this type of calculations is lower accuracy in more challenging lighting situations. So if light is bouncing a lot or you want to have noise caustic, we need to use physically accurate engine that will globally calculate the light reflections. So many of you are probably aware of these limitations and many of you probably gave up at this stage as new rendering engine means new materials, going outside of the blender and basically changing almost the entire workflow. 
So okay, we can fake it. <laughs> Caustic doesn't have to be physically correct. So what would be perfect solution? The render engine that is physically correct inside the blenders and may be compatible with Cycles material. Okay, here you are, Mid Lux Core Render. It is enough to say that this engine has everything you need to calculate 100% correct caustic and it's almost fully integrated with Blender. Almost because it's still missing a few features, but generally it works. At the beginning, I was a bit skeptic, as you know, it's new rendering engine and I didn't want it really to leave cycles at all, but after a few simple tests, I just have changed my mind. It's so easy to get physically correct lighting that I decided to dive into Lux Core Render. So in order to get Lux Core Render, you need to go on the website, that's pretty obvious, go to the download and just choose your right operating system version. In my case, it was Windows. So to install Lux Core in Blender, it's nothing simpler. You just go preference, preference and just install LuxCore Render as normal add-on. I have LuxCore Render already installed and I'm using Blender 2.8 by the way. And to prove it, I have here LuxCore showed up in Render Engine tab. So let's start to set our scene. First of all, this is the most important difference between cycles and look score. We have path tracing method and we have bidirectional path tracing, which basically means that look score will not only project rays from camera, but also from light source. And that's why it's so good. And in advanced tab, like light path advanced, we need to change um, sampler from Sobo to Metropolis, as this is something that we want to calculate, to, we want to use to calculate the most physically proper uh, caustic that is possible. <laughs> there is button also, tam tempting button, uh, use cycle setting, and it's quite useful, but we are not gonna use this uh, in, in today's tutorial. Unfortunately, for bi bidirectional path tracing, we can't use our GPUs. So <laughs> not everything is perfect, but it would be too beautiful. Anyway, it's amazing. Uh, my scene is quite simple. It contains basic sculpture. And you know why this sculpture looks like that. If you passed with me through the theory, you understand perfectly why I have chosen the sculpture of this shape. I have spotlight that is on perpendicular angle. <laughs> There's perpendicular to my, to my surface. Uh, I have simple plane and camera. So the world is slightly different than in cycles, but it's pretty easy to understand. What we need to do is just turn off the world uh, because we don't we don't really need it. We want pure pure caustic in this scene. We don't want any unneeded reflections or something like that. Uh, the light settings, as you can see, it's just standard lumen. I prefer lumen than RGB because I don't know why it feels it, it gives me feeling that I know what I'm doing. <laughs> somehow and I have choose I have chosen 3.8 as an angle that um, that is giving nice effect but basically it depends on you so what we need to do now is to add the material and to do this we need to go to look score material notes okay and now hit new nothing's happening and that's pretty normal behavior but you need to go to material properties and add new material and you have your material it will show like that mm, we just erase this and add simple glass shade that we're gonna set to the defaults and 
In my render that you saw at the beginning, I add some dispersion and, and it looks beautifully, but it introduces also a lot of noise to the image. So I recommend to set everything on the on the basic setting and after that add a little bit dispersion if, if you have a little bit time to for calculations. I'm gonna set this IOR to 1.5 bit because it's almost glass and uh, yeah, but I will show you something later. Anyway, uh, that's it for, for the basic scene setup. I promise that it will be simple and it is. And now we are in the moment that is the best moment of this tutorial. And basically you will see how magic is, happen magic is happening on your eyes. Behind? No. Uh, yeah, the magic will happen soon, no worries. <laughs> Ta -da! We have magic. <laughs> this is our caustic, finally. We have caustic in Blender, real caustic, beautiful caustic, okay? And as I said, now you can observe how IOR is influencing your caustic. So, yeah, it's just beautiful. I, I'm so happy <laughs> to have it. I wish I knew that before, but unfortunately, I was afraid of look score render. And uh, now, it's time to do some tweaks. So by moving light, you change caustic by moving shape and everything. But I'm pretty happy with what I've made. And we're just gonna render this, this scene. So go to image editor and just hit F12. And you might expect that it's gonna take ages to render noiseless image. And it's not exactly true because uh, fortunately look score render is not that slow. If you take a look, it's only 20 seconds of calculation and it's already looking not good, but it's not only the noise. And of course, if we add, um, if we'll add a little bit more uh, information to this to this uh, like dispersion uh, it's gonna take a little bit longer time but it's still not that bad as you can see it's 45 seconds and it start to get quite usable it's full HD by the way this 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 image so what we have to do now is just wait till we're happy or we can use hold uh, hold halt condition so, for example, if renderer will hit enough samples, like 500 or 100, it should stop, or if it will, you know, reach some time that it's not... See? It's pretty fast. It's not that bad as you might expect. So, basically, that's it uh, for today. I hope you like this tutorial, and I hope that it changed your life somehow because caustic will be more pleasant subject. It won't be uh, all the time faking stuff uh, that we all are tired of and it's so complicated and take really a long time to do. And you can you can just use looks, looks score render. Uh, I'm gonna prepare some tutorials soon about how to translate materials from cycles to look score to make this transition seamlessly seamless and not painful at all. So thank you guys for watching and hope you will see you soon. Bye.